Hello, my name is Miles Jefferson, and I'll be doing a presentation on record labels. And just a quick note, I apologize for the terrible microphone quality, but I can't really do much about that. So, what is a record label? A record label is a company that owns music recordings and music videos. They work to sell the brand of the artists and the products that they create. Some record labels also act as publishing companies. One way labels get money to do these things is by way of record contracts. There are three main record companies though, known as the Big Three. They are Universal Music Group, Warner Music Group, and Sony Music Entertainment. And they uh, put their logos at the bottom, I'll put their logos down there. So what is a record contract? A record contract is a contract between an artist and a label where the artist makes records or just a record for the label to sell and promote. There are many different types of contracts, but here are just some examples. You have 360 deals. The label takes a percentage of all forms of income from the artist, meaning literally all forms, and that can be merch, touring, royalties, whatever. We have 50-50 deals, and that is what it implies, uh, it's 50-50. At the recruitment, the label and the artist split royalties 50-50, and uh, I'll explain what recruitment is in a second. This deal usually happens with smaller labels, um, and for majors, people sign with major labels, uh, artists usually get around 12-20% to 20 of the royalties after recruitment. And <laughs> And uh, then we have our single deals. The label and artists agree to record and release one song. Then we have financial side of things that get to spend money. So there are many ways that money is split, given, and earned between artists and their labels. Uh, we have royalties. Royalties are a form of passive income received by right holders. That can be songwriters, recording artists, composers. Whatever, in exchange for the license use of their music. We have advances, where an artist is paid by their label an amount of money, usually to make a song, album, single, EP, whatever. Then we have uh, recruitment. Recruitment is how a label gets their money back. The label keeps some of the artist's royalties after giving them an advance, and this helps to pay them off. Once the earnings from the royalties equal the cost paid out, the artist is considered recouped. Um, recouping is kind of like an advance, kind of like a debt, so kind of, sort of. <laughs> then we uh, have cross collateralized. Excuse me, cross collateralization. It's a very difficult word to say. Uh, this happens if the label gives an artist an advance for a song and the song completely flops. The label can take royalties from other songs and pay off the advance with that. So basically they're just siphoning uh, other royalties into that because your song sucked. <laughs> uh, there are many, I mean, um, now to the departments in record labels. There are many, many departments in a bigger label, but here are a few for example. We have an A&R department, it stands for Artist Repertoire. The A&R department looks for new music and artists for the label. We have uh, the marketing department. The marketing department in a label is responsible for making a marketing plan for every record the label releases. Uh, they help to promote records that the label releases. So, um, yeah. I mean, if a uh, record makes a uh, record label makes a song, then you want it to be promoted so more people listen to it, so you get more money and everybody gets paid. You know, it's kind of a waterfall effect. Then we have indie labels. So independent or just indie labels for short are labels that don't operate under or aren't affiliated with major labels. Most of the time. Artists that sign with indie labels have more creative freedom over their music, but they don't have as much money to work with than if they were to sign with the major. 
The traditional definition of a major is a label that owns its own distribution channel, meaning it can get their music from production to consumption by themselves. So some independents, uh, what they do is they'll sign label, I mean they'll sign dual release or distribution only agreements with major labels. So uh, yeah, that's the end of my presentation. Bye.